Hey, what's up everybody? Jess here with Southern Reels Fishing out for an, another adventure in a new kayak that I got. Uh, I had about a half a day this afternoon to get out and do some fishing, so I threw it in the van and took a trip. Here I am out on the water. I'm going to throw some soft plastics, mirror lures, see if I can catch some trout and just enjoy this afternoon. So, wish me luck. I'm in about 12, 14 foot of water. We got some action. Heck yeah, that didn't take too long. Even unhooked himself for me. <laughs> Love that. That one's probably, I don't know, 16 inches, I'm guessing, 17 maybe. And honestly, when I keep trout, that's the size that I'm going for is, you know, 16 to 20. Actually, I prefer around 16, 18 inches because you get these nice little firm fillets off of them. And the, the meat ain't too mushy. I know, that's one thing about the speckled trout I don't really care for is pretty mushy meat if you don't cook it and eat it fresh, at least in my opinion. I mean, it's delicious, especially fried. I love it. Or blackened in like some fish tacos or something like that's delicious that's definitely not one of my favorite fish to eat but with that being said it's probably one of my top favorite fish to catch because they just have an awesome hit and the way that you fish for them to me is just fun with the different lures casting the mirror lures soft plastics uh, to be honest with you even though it is a lot of times very effective for trout I cannot stand trolling. You know, I come up in here and I see a lot of people doing it. And you know, you definitely catch trout like that. And I did quite a bit of it in the past when I was learning. To me, I just don't understand how you wouldn't spend the time learning how to cast and catch them. Because having that rod in your hand and fishing a mirror lure or soft plastic, whatever you got, and the way them, those trout smack it, I mean, I tell you, they just have some incredible hits. And if you're trolling, you miss all that. But it does work and I've seen trolling work at times when you could cast your arm off and it just wouldn't hit there we go another decent one right around 18 20 incher yep nice one Oh, dang it, took my jig head. Oh, should have netted him, Jesse. Should have netted him. All right, folks, got it re rigged. Another trout eye here. Let's see if we can get us another one. I had a couple boats join me, and luckily they just kept right on going, which is always nice. Honestly, I could have brought my boat today myself, but for just a few hours that I had, I didn't want the extra expense for all the fuel getting it here. Even though it opens up more options for fishing, it's just get back to my roots kind of. That's why I've been really enjoying this kayak, especially with it not having live scope and sonar and all that fancy stuff on it. Kind of takes you back. I do think I might want a basic system on here, like one of the small uh, units to long, to like about the size of your phone that would fit like right here, just to indicate depth. That's really all I care about is just knowing the depth. I don't even need imaging really, just traditional sonar, honestly, to me works better than imaging. As far as spotting fish, I definitely don't want no big, huge sonar on this one. Do gotta get the landing gear though. That's a must. All right, y'all, so I fished this whole area here. Uh, I haven't really had much, so I'm gonna start hitting back that way. And I'm gonna do something that I normally wouldn't do. I'm gonna troll, screw it. Um, basically, I'm gonna use the 3 16 ounce jig head I have on that pole, uh, keep that in my hands. And on my other pole here, I bricked up a much larger 3 quarter ounce jig head to help it get down deeper towards the bottom. And I'm going to cover some ground and head back that way and just see if trolling makes a difference today or not. Because I've casted through all of this and I really didn't catch much. I caught three total today for about an hour and a half. So we'll see if this makes any difference.
Alrighty, so I'm just gonna sling this one behind me. Make sure it's got enough line out to get to the bottom. I'll let that sit here or I can kind of keep an eye on it. And take this other one. Have a hard time just sitting and trolling, so I'll troll with that one. And I'm gonna cast with this one. At least some. Yeah. There you know, the trolling rod beat me. It feels like pretty good fish too. And I caught it trolling. Not cool. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm stoked. This is a big route. But I didn't want to get them trolling. All right, buddy. Don't go crazy on me. Let's see how big you are. You can go home. Oh, he's 23. Nice, beautiful trout. All right, brother. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'm going to head back the opposite direction, maybe 100, 150 feet or so, and troll that same area again, and cast it as well. All right, troll this little bit here, see if I can get that lucky again. Really? Another decent trout, y'all. I mean, as big as that last one, it's still a nice trout. Pretty trout. Yeah. Hell yeah. I can talk all the crap I want to about it, but I've been trolling for 10 minutes and I've already caught three fish. Yeah, I said, screw you trolling. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. Never mind. Oh, I'm trolling. The troller got one. He's swimming me back. Oh. That's another nice trout right there. Oh, gosh almighty. You come on the hook. That's another big trout. Trolling. Ugh. It's not even fair. Hang tight, I'll get you out. I'm gonna mouth on that dude. Mm, pinch the tail. 
another 23 incher that's a nice trout right there y'all thank you man beautiful fish hell y'all let me straight up that's beyond annoying for me that that works so well Got one on my casting pole. Another small one though. 